What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex. In this video I'm going to be going over how to build the best teams in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Now this is kind of piggybacking off of yesterday's videos. We talked about the top three characters and I talked all about you know what makes those characters tick. You guys can definitely go back and check out that video. I said that I would talk about the best teams in this video. Now here's the first thing I should say is there are, is this technically not a best team, okay? What you need to be looking out for is general groups of players that can comp each other well and they don't even need to be grouped in like the teams that the game does the team gives you a wide variety of teams that they group players in. you know there's like the new Avengers things like that um like the the kind of classic or retro uh, Avengers and there's a bunch of them there's like 15 20 of them and they all give you uh, bonuses basically bonus attributes to your overall team now those are important but they're not that important they're honestly not that big of a, of a deal you can you can gain those bonus attributes attributes for sure, but ne not necessarily are all the characters that are in there, do they make the best team. The best team really does come from the characters that complement each other the best. And now, I, I was reading a bunch of articles, I've played the game myself, and I was trying to get a kind of a, a grasp of what people are actually throwing together as their best teams. Turns out, the team that I assembled on my first go through in this game is actually looked upon as a relatively good team, minus one member. So I'll go over my team really quickly, and I'll talk about, you know, the strengths of weaknesses. So I have Scarlet Witch, Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Hulk. Now, I now I just without even trying, I accidentally assembled like the Smart Minds group. And when you first unlock, you know, kind of the 10 to 15 characters in the towards the beginning of the game when you meet everybody pretty much, um they they, you know, they all become unlockable to you and Spider-Man, Hulk, and Iron Man are the three characters from the get-go that are those Smart Minds group. And so I accidentally threw them together. Now, again, what I did actually actually was pretty close to what is a, a really, really good team. From what I was reading around, it seems like the combination of Hulk, Iron Man, and Scarlet Witch is a pretty solid one. Just that Spider-Man one could probably be swapped by somebody else. I saw a lot of people picking Wolverine. And so here's generally the breakdown. I mean, you have ranged fighters, and I talked about this yesterday too, of people that can attack from afar. Um, and there's also melee fighters, right? So people that can really get in there. There's the tank, which I've also talked about, somebody like Drax, Venom, Hulk, those are all three kind of tank characters. I think the Hulk is the best. That's also just what I've seen in general. I gave Hulk one of the nominees or one of the best characters yesterday. But Venom and Drax do the trick as well. And you also have your support character. So there's a couple characters in this game can, that can actually heal people. In Wolverine's case, the reason I saw Wolverine was so well used and, and used well in a team is not only because of his melee attacks, but he can also self-heal. He can also self-regenerate, obviously, as, as you know Wolverine does. Um, but he can heal himself, so that makes him a very, very valuable member to the team. So again, you know, I accidentally put together a team that that got me a pretty solid attribute, like, a, you know, a kind of a bonus to my team. You can do that, and there's so many of them out there, and what happens when you go throughout the game, you continue to get characters, they get added to those lists. So those are kind of the pre-generated list, all of the bonus attribution teams, like the setups, and if as long as you have at least two members um, in that, you'll gain, uh, you know, a bonus for that. If you have all of them, you gain even even more so but those you know the new characters you get will get added to it it just turns out however that I managed to build a team that was those smart minded people from the beginning but again is that like do or die no what it really comes down to is the abilities leveling up your abilities making sure all your characters are similar levels not going into a fight under level those kind of like tips and tricks kind of things that is what really really matters to be honest it doesn't necessarily matter those bonus attributes and so you need characters that work work well with each other. Yesterday we talked about the group of Magneto, Hulk, you know, and I, I talked about how they kind of complement each other well. Well, the group of Scarlet Witch and Hulk and Iron Man work really, really good. Hulk is that tank character, and I recommend that. I think in any team you need a tank. So you need one of Venom, who you unlock pretty early, not right at the beginning, but you get him kind of right after Chapter 1. But you can, you know, Hulk is, is somebody that as soon as the Guardians meet everybody, you can play as Hulk. So Hulk is, is my go to. I really, really like Hulk. Um, Hulk is that tank kind of player, right? Dishes a lot of damage out, receives a lot of damage. Iron Man, he can fly around. He's very mobile. And you need
need people like that. I talked about Deadpool yesterday. Spider-Man, you know, Miles Morales, those are all kind of the exact same characters. Spider-Gwen, you know, there's a lot of characters that kind of function the exact same. So, you know, the preference there, Captain Marvel and Thor kind of act the exact same as well. So, you know, those kind of characters, when it gets down to those subgroups, it's really just a preference. You know, if you like the look of one character, maybe you like the special ability. And that's another thing, too. You know, being able to team up your ability with somebody else, those are things you look for. But you, you know, when it ultimately comes down to it, you need like a healer type. So you need a character like Wolverine. You need a character like Scarlet Witch, who in my opinion is very, very powerful, very long range for her. You don't want to get her. You don't want to fight with her very up close. You want to kind of stay back. But in my opinion, she's one of the coolest characters in the game by a mile. Not only that, not only can she dish out a ton of damage, but she's also a healer later on. You unlock that ability. So she's somebody definitely to keep in mind. I, I'm, I think I'm going to keep Scarlet Witch on there. Iron Man, again, like I said, mobile. He moves around. Wolverine or any really melee type character. Um, and you have yourself a pretty good team. So you just want to be well balanced. You don't want to be all the same characters. You don't all want to be ranged. You don't all want to sit back. You need, I, I personally think, you need a, a strong character that is able to take that damage and be kind of like that bullet sponge for everybody else. So it, it's about doing that. So again, you know, my team was almost what I've seen a lot of people put together. I would just swap out Spider-Man with Wolverine or really anybody that's able to go in there and have and really, you know, fist fight, kind of have a melee approach to it. Not Hulk. I mean, Hulk does go in there and he destroys stuff very, very well and he does a lot of damage. You want to use him against kind of like the those boss type characters, you know, those kind of smaller boss type characters. Um, but he is more of that tank role. That's literally his job. You want somebody that's a little bit faster movement um, that's able to do a lot of damage as well. And that's where he comes in handy uh, in terms of Wolverine or any character that's able to do that. So that's pretty much it, guys. Again, it's about complementing each other. Um, you know, building the best team isn't really, I, I, I was going to label this video, I was going to title this video, the best team, like which what is the best team. There really aren't because you can get those bonus attributes for sure if you pick like the people that are part of those pre-selected groups. Um, but, and you can, you know, it comes down to abilities, it comes down to leveling. There's a lot of, there's more things to it than that. And honestly, you can come up with quite a few really awesome groups. And that's definitely what I want to hear about in the comments below, guys. What groups have you put together? What's your four-person team that you think really, really works well together? Let me know. And also, we are giving away this game. If you guys saw the graphic in the beginning of this video and even now, we're giving away this game for free on the Nintendo Switch. The video is on our channel. Come check it out. Uh, you know, again, completely free to win. If you guys know somebody who wants this game, send them our way. But we're also doing that. And this is just part of our coverage of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. We're going to have a couple more videos throughout this uh, upcoming week about the game. Um, a lot of different things planned. If you guys want me to cover anything specific about the game, definitely let me know that as well. Thank you guys, as always, for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.